In response to COVID-19, PSP is offering telefitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the telefitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Prior to participating in this session, and to make an informed decision on whether you should seek advice from a qualified exercise professional or healthcare provider, consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document by clicking on the links below. By continuing with this telefitness class, you understand that there is a possibility of physical injury and you agree that you do so voluntarily at your own risk. You also assume all risk of injury and agree to release the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services from any and all claims related to your participation in this telefitness class. Hi everyone, my name is Deidre and I'm a sports and fitness instructor in Petawawa. Today I'm going to be leading you through a yoga class. It's going to be more of a flow type class, so there'll be lots of movement. Uh, we're going to start in a relaxing position and then start heating up the body and then move through a couple different flows. Take it at your own pace, take breaks when you need to. The options for your break poses are either going to be child's pose, so you're going to bring your big toes to touch, sit your butt down on your heels, and then curl your fingertips out on the mat and place your forehead down. So this will be one resting option. And the second one, you can come down onto your back and just lay here for as long as you need to throughout the class. Um, you don't really need anything. Um, there is a couple balance poses, so if you do have a prop of some sort, a block or um, a sturdy water bottle would even work, um, you can have that at the top of your mat. All right, so starting position is gonna be down on your back. Try to get into a comfortable laying position. So let the legs go out long, arms come out to either side of the body. Letting your palms flip up, gazes up at the ceiling, and try to close down the eyes. Let your toes roll open to either edge of the mat, opening up to the hips. Starting to take nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Calming the mind, bringing the body to stillness, letting your shoulder blades sink into the mat. We're going to stay here for about five breaths. Keeping that breath flow consistent in and out of the nose. more big breath here. Exhale, let it all go. Coming back to whatever your regular breath cycle is, starting to wiggle out through the fingers and the toes, rolling through the wrists and the ankles, switch directions. And then bringing your legs tight together, your big toes to touch, reach your arms back overhead and interlace your fingers together and reach as far as you can on the inhale. Get as long as you possibly can. Exhale, sink into the mat. One more time, stretch as far as you can, inhale. 
holding at the top. Exhale, let it all go. Sweep the arms around to catch the knees into the body. Option to rock side to side. Just bring some light massaging into the low back. And then placing your hands onto the tops of your knees or the tops of your shins, keeping the feet activated so you want to take your toes and flex them back towards your knees. You're going to start by opening up through the hips and making small circles. You're going to do five rotations outwards. And then we're going to switch it up. At the end of your fifth one, you're going to come inwards. Try not to rush through this. One more. Pause in the center and switch. Five rotations here. Last one. Both knees tucked in, option to rock side to side. Coming back through stillness, keeping your right leg tucked in, you're gonna extend the left leg to rest on the floor. Keeping the left toes activated, driving them back towards the shin. Keeping the right toes activated, driving them back towards the knee. If you feel like this stretch is a little bit too much for you, you're just going to bend into your left knee and plant the foot. Holding here for two more breaths. From here, you're going to take your hands behind your thigh onto your hamstring and extend the legs straight up to the ceiling. So try not to lock out through the knee. You want to have a slight bend in the knee, but still keeping those toes flexing back to the knee. Again, if this is too much for you, just bend that left foot, plant the foot down. Try to keep the shoulder blades and shoulders resting on the floor. Both hips should be resting. Maybe roll out through the ankle a couple times. From here, if you haven't bent your left leg already, you're going to bend the leg, plant the foot down, coming through figure four, right ankle, left knee. We're just going to stay with the foot planted to start, so you're going to take your right hand and push it into your right knee. Keeping the toes flexed, creating the resistance, so trying to push the knee into the hand and push the hand into the knee. If this is enough for you, you're going to stay here. Option two, you're going to elevate that left foot. Still driving the hand into the knee and pulling the knee towards the hand. And if this feels good for you, you're going to interlace your hands in between the hole that you've created with your legs. If you can't keep your head on the floor, I would recommend just staying in this first position here. Keeping the breath flowing in and out of the nose. Planting your foot on the floor if you've elevated it. You're going to keep this position, but you're going to fully cross your right leg over your left leg. Pick up your hips and move them to the right side of the mat. Arms are going to come into a T. Your knees are going to fall down to the left. And then your gaze is going to come over your right shoulder. option to stay here or you can take your left hand to the outer right side of your right leg and try to just slowly add a little bit of pressure to the leg creating a little bit more of a stretch
releasing the leg if you've held on. Gaze comes back through center. Scooting the hips back through center, uncrossing the legs. Tuck both knees into the chest. Option to rock side to side. Coming back through stillness, extending the left leg, sorry, the right leg straight out. We're gonna move through that exact same movement pattern on this side. Again, if you find that having your leg straight is too much, option to bend the leg and plant the foot. From here, working on extending that leg straight up to the ceiling, hands come behind the leg, flexing the toes back towards the shin. Option to roll up to the ankle a couple of times. If you haven't bent through the right leg yet, bending through the leg, planting the foot down, coming through figure four, choosing your option. Option one, pressing into the knee. Option two, elevating the foot up keeping the hands pressing towards the knee. And option three, weaving your hands through the hole that you've created with your legs to get a little bit more deeper in the stretch. right foot on the floor, fully cross your left leg over your right leg, arms come into a T, hips move to the left this time, knees drop down to the right, and gaze is going to come over your left shoulder. Option to stay here or take your right hand to outer left leg, creating that force towards the floor. come back out. Gaze comes back to the ceiling. Knees come back through center, uncrossing the legs. Hug both knees into your chest, coming into a small little ball. Option to rock side to side. And then coming through half happy baby. Arms are going to come to the inner sides of the knees. And your options here are going to be to grab the outer ankles, the outer feet, or the big toes with your peace fingers. Coming through happy baby, setting the legs up, keeping a nice bend through the knees. Flexing the toes back towards the shins and trying to drive the low back into the floor. Option to stay still or rock side to side. Coming back through stillness. We're going to rock up into a seated position. If you have any low back problems, you can just come up into a seat. If not, you're going to come through to rock up. Cross the legs at the top of the mat. From here, you're going to plant the hands under the shoulders and flip over into a tabletop position. Toes are going to be tucked under. Knees underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulders. You're gonna start by dropping the belly down and extending the gaze up to the ceiling. Tucking the chin to the chest, you're gonna round through the back. Firmly pressing through the palms. Drop the belly down, extend the gaze. Tuck the 
chin around the back. Drop the belly, extend the gaze. Tuck the chin around the back. Moving through two more, drop the belly, extend the gaze. Tuck the chin around the back. Drop the belly, extend the gaze. Tuck the chin around the back. Coming through a neutral spine. From here, you're gonna take your left hand to the midline of the body, and you're gonna take your right hand to the outer edge of your ear. You're gonna take your right elbow to your left elbow, and then you're gonna slowly open up to come just parallel to the floor. You're gonna do that two more times. On your third time up, you're gonna hold. Extending your arm straight out, and then you're gonna weave the right arm to the left side of the body. Taking your right hand to push your body open to come into a deeper stretch. Pressing the right hand firmly into the floor. Pressing to the left hand, open back up. All the way this time, place the hand underneath the shoulder. Bring the hand underneath the face, taking the left hand to the side of the ear. <clears throat> left elbow to right elbow, open up parallel. Two more times, just like that. On your third time, you're gonna hold, extend the arm out, and then weave the arm underneath the right side of the body. Pressing your right hand firmly into the floor. Pressing firmly through the right hand, weave up, open up. Place the hand down. You're gonna start with extending your right hand and your left leg, keeping everything square to the floor, hips and shoulders. If you can look back underneath your armpit to see if your left toes are pointing towards the floor, that's key. Holding three. Two, one, place it all down. Left arm, right leg, reach long. Check back to the toes. Holding three, two, one, placing everything down, back to the right side, extend. Three, two, one, lower down, extend, opposite side. Coming back through center, switch to the other side. Three, two, one, lower down. Last one, extend, hold. Three, two, one, place everything down. Tuck the toes under, shift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedaling out through either of the knees. Hands are gonna be shoulder width apart, spreading wide through the fingers. Feet are gonna be about hip distance. Try to pull the chest back towards the knees. Your gaze is gonna be up at your belly button. Holding here for two more. Last breath. Gaze comes between the hands, bend the knees. You're gonna walk the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, rise all the way up. Arms come overhead. Exhale, arms float down. Moving through sun salutation A. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands firmly to the floor. Right leg steps back, left leg steps back, plank. Slightly shift the weight forward and then lowering to a hover. Pull the chest forward, coming through upward facing dog. Tuck the chin to the chest, downward facing dog. Gaze comes forward, bend through the knees, step the right foot forward, step the left foot forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, arms float down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands firmly. Left foot steps back, right foot steps back. Holding your plank. Slowly shift the weight forward and lower to a hover. Pulling the chest forward, upward facing dog. Tuck the chin to the chest, downward facing dog. Gaze comes forward, bend the knees, left foot forward, right foot forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, arms slow down. Last time through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, step or hop back to a push up. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Gaze comes between the thumbs, bend the knees, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, arms float down. Sun salt B. Lower the hips, rise the arms up. Coming through chair pose. Exhale, plant the hands to the top of the mat. If you don't have any room at the top of your mat, just scoot back slightly. From here, you're gonna hold in your fold or you're gonna come in through a crow practice. Your elbows are gonna come to the tops of your triceps and then you're gonna look forward and think of getting your butt up. From here, if you've decided to stay in your forward fold practice, you're going to step back to a plank if you've taken crow, option to step or float back. Come through upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right foot lifts up and back. Step the foot through the hands at the top of the mat. Scooch the back foot back slightly, drop the back knee coming up through low lunge. Try to scissor your legs together. So pulling the back foot back and the front foot back towards your back leg without actually moving anything. 
plant the hands down to the top of the mat, and then shift the weight back, coming through half split. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold over the leg. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, crawl the fingertips forward. Picking up through the back knee, you're gonna open up to a twist. Gaze can be straight in front of you or up to your top hand. From here, we're gonna come through side plank. So keeping the top arm up. Option one, you're gonna shift onto the outer edges of both feet. And then you can stay here through a half side plank or come all the way back through. If you're here, maybe you're gonna elevate the top foot on the back leg. Placing the foot down, shift the weight forward, plant the hands, plant the toes, lower to a hover, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left foot goes up and back. Step the foot through at the top of the mat. Scoot the back leg back slightly, drop the back knee, rising up, low lunge. Planting the hands down to frame the front foot, shift your weight back, half split. Inhale, half lift with the chin, exhale, fold. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, hands curl forward. Tuck the back toes under. If you've untucked them, pick up the knee. Opening up, twist. From here, choosing your option, rolling onto the outer edge of each foot, coming through half side plank or all the way. Option to elevate that top back leg. Placing the leg down if you've raised it, shifting the shoulders and hips forward, lower to hover, rising up to up dog, tucking the chin, down dog. Gaze comes forward, bending to the knees, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms up overhead, chair. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, arms float down. One more time, just like that. Inhale, sitting down in your chair, arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Staying in your fold or coming through crow practice. Nice wide hands, wrists are stacked underneath the shoulders, knees find the tops of the triceps, and then holding. Three, two, one, step or float back. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, Downward facing dog. Right foot lifts. Step the foot through the hands at the top of the mat. Keep the back foot back slightly. Drop the back knee. Rising up. A little bit quicker this time. Hands plant down. Shift the weight back. Inhale, lifting the chin. Exhale, folding. Inhale, coming forward. Picking up the back knee, opening up for a twist. Sliding the leg back, coming through your option of side plank. Shifting the hips and shoulders forward, lower down, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left foot rises. Step the foot through the hands at the top of the mat. Scoot the back leg back. Inhale, rise up. 
Exhale, hands frame the front foot, shift the weight back. Inhale, lift the chin. Exhale to fold. Inhale, crawling the hands forward. Pick up the back knee, opening up for a twist. Slowly pivoting the back feet and stepping back halfway or all the way. Shifting the hips and shoulders forward, lowering to a hover, pulling the chest forward, upward facing dog, tuck the chin, downward facing dog. Knees come to the thumbs, bend the knees, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sink the hips, arms rise up overhead. Exhale, arms float down. Sink the hips, arms rise up, coming through your chair. Exhale, fold. Choosing to stay in your fold or come through crow practice. Two, one, step or float back. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right foot rises. Step the foot through at the top of the mat. Good. Keeping the back knee up this time. Rise up for crescent lunge. Back foot pivots 45. Arms open up to either side of the body, warrior two. Gazes over your front fingertips. Front palm flips. Back hand comes to the low back. Reaching up and overhead for peaceful warrior. Gaze can be forward or up at your top hand. Floating back to warrior two. Front forearm finds the front knee. Top arm is going to come down and around the front of the body to open up into extended side angle. Try not to dump all your weight into this front knee. Rising back up, one or two. Coming through balance, you're going to shift the weight into your front leg and then fly up into Flying Warrior. If you fall out, that's okay. Just come right back into it. Square the hips forward. Hands come through heart center, coming through Warrior Three. Chest comes forward, bending through the front knee. And then place the foot down at the top of the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step or float back. Rising up. Upward facing dog. Tucking the chin. Downward facing dog. Left foot floats up and back. Step the foot through the hands, slowly rising up, crescent lunge. Back foot pivots 45, opening up, warrior two. Gaze is over your front fingertips. Front palm flips, back hand comes to the low back. 
reaching up and back, peaceful warrior. Coming back through warrior two. Front forearm finds front knee, chopper is gonna come down and around the front of the body to open up into extended side angle. Rising back up, warrior two. And then powering into that front leg, you're gonna guide yourself forward, come through and balance and flying warrior. Squaring off the hips, squaring off the shoulders, coming through warrior three. Chest comes forward, bending through the back knee, coming up through standing, and set the foot back down. Bend the knees, sink the hips, arms come up overhead. Exhale, fold. Option to stay in your fold or come through crow practice. Nice wide fingers, gazes forward. Holding here. Two more. Option to step or float back. Chest comes forward for upward facing dog. Chin tucks to the chest, downward facing dog. Right foot rises up and back. Step the foot through the hands at the top of the mat. Stay on the ball of your back foot, slowly coming up through crescent lunge. Back foot pivots, 45, opening up, warrior two. Front palm flips, back hand comes to the low back. Reaching up and back for peaceful warrior. Coming back through warrior two. This time you're gonna straighten the front leg and reach beyond your front toes, hinging forward as much as you can. When you can't reach forward anymore, you're gonna hinge forward, reaching down for the mat. Top arm is gonna come up overhead. Bending back to that front knee, coming back through warrior two, coming back through another balance pose, Front fingertips are gonna go beyond your front toes, and then you're gonna slide your back toes up until you can elevate them into half moon. Activating through the standing leg and the floating leg. Squaring off through the shoulders and the hips. Option to stay here or start walking your hands back towards your standing leg. You're gonna inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold to try to get your nose to your knee. All right. You can take your right hand to your outer right leg as an option. And if you feel stable here, Try to elevate that left hand to bring it to meet the outer, sorry, the inner edge of that right leg. Holding for two more. Planting the hands at the top of the mat. Bend the back knee. Step the foot through at the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, arms float down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step or float back. Upward facing dog. 
Downward facing dog. Left foot rises up. Step the foot through the hands at the top of the mat. Staying on the ball of your back foot, slowly rising up. Crescent lunge. Opening up, warrior two, back foot pivots, 45. Front palm slips, back hand to the low back, reaching up and back for Peaceful Warrior. Opening back up through Warrior Two. Straightening the front leg, reaching forward beyond the front toes as far as you can when you can't reach any further, hinge forward. Opening up into a T with your arms. This is triangle pose. Bending through the front knee, coming back through warrior two. Coming back to that balance, half moon, reaching forward beyond the toes, popping up through half moon. Squaring off the hips, squaring off the shoulders, coming through standing split. Start walking your hands back towards your toes. Inhale, half lift with the chin. Exhale, fold. Try to get that nose to knee. From here for an extra challenge, if you're feeling balanced in this posture, you're gonna take your left hand to the outer left foot and then option to bring that right hand to join. Holding here for three more. Two. Last one. Planting the hands underneath the shoulders, bend the back knee, step the foot forward to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, arms float down. Inhale, sink the hips, rise the arms up. Coming in through your chair. Exhale, forward fold. Option to stay here in your fold or last time practice for your crow. Elbows find the backs of the triceps, gazes forward, and your heels are trying to find your bum. Last one, step or float back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, down dog. Right foot floats up and back. Bend the knee and bring the heel to your butt. Staying here with the hip opening, keeping the shoulders square to the front of the mat. This is gonna be option one. Option two, you're gonna flip open into wild thing, pivoting onto the outer edge of your back foot. Trying to press the hips up. Squaring off the shoulders, sending the hip up and back, this time you're going to square off the hips and then you're going to bring your right knee to your right wrist and then drop the back knee down. Coming through pigeon, option one you can stay up like so, option two you're going to come down to the forearms and option three you're going to come in through a bind. So you're going to take your left leg and bend and then you're going to take your left hand to open up for a twist 
So you're working to the hips, the glutes, the quads, as well as a, a twist. Gaze should be back towards the toes if it's accessible. If not, keep the gaze straight in front. Slowly releasing that foot back down. Hand plants underneath the shoulders, picking up the back knee, stepping back, downward facing dog. Left foot rises, bend the knee, heel to butt, opening up the hips. Shoulders are square to the floor. Option to stay here or flip into wild thing. Try to land as light as you can. Start to square off through the shoulders, moving through your downward facing dog, and then coming through pigeon on the other side. Again, choosing your option to stay up on the hands, coming down onto the forearms, or coming through that twist option. You're gonna bend the right leg, right arm is gonna reach up and back. Again, gaze can be forward, or if it's accessible for you, you're gonna come back to look at the toes. Slowly releasing that leg, hand plants underneath the shoulders, tuck the back toes under, pick up the knee, stepping back, downward facing dog. You're gonna take your big toes to the outer edge of your mat. All your other toes should be on the floor. And then your hands are gonna to come to grip your yoga mat. From here, you're gonna to try to force your chest back towards your legs. Creating a big opening through the upper back, the chest, hamstrings. Gazes up at your belly button. Holding for two more. The last one, exhale, bringing everything back through center, drop the knees down to the floor, cross your legs, and then come through a seated position. You want to give yourself a little bit of room at the back of your mat. We're going to lower down onto our backs. You're going to take figure four. So starting with the right leg, right ankle crossing over left knee. Option one is to stay here, just like we did at the beginning. Option two, you're gonna press into the knee. And option three, you're gonna grab in between the hole you've created with your legs. Closing down the eyes. elevated the left foot, plant it back to the floor, coming back to that spinal twist, right leg fully crosses over left, arms come into a T, hips pick up and move over to the right, knees drop down to the left. Gaze is coming over your right shoulder, left hand comes onto right leg to pull the leg a little bit closer to the floor and deepen that stretch.
gaze comes back through center, arm releases from the right leg, uncrossing the knees, knees come back through center, squaring off through the hips, left ankle finds right knee, choosing your option of figure four, holding, closing down the eyes, Trying to release any tension in the face, shoulders. Elevated the right foot, plant it back to the mat. Left leg fully crosses over right leg, arms come into a T, hips scoot over to the left, knees drop down to the right, gazes over your left shoulder, and then right hand comes to find outer left leg. Releasing the leg, gaze comes back through center, uncrossing the knees, knees come back through center. Hugging both knees into the chest. And coming in for one last push. Planting both feet down to the floor. Hands are gonna be able to touch the heels. Gaze is gonna be straight up at the ceiling. On your inhale breath, you're gonna rise the hips up, pressing through the heels firmly, and holding here for five breaths. Four. Three. Two. One, lower down. We're gonna do two more just like that. This time you have an option to come through interlacing the hands. Inhale, hips rise up. Hands are gonna interlace underneath the back and you're gonna roll the shoulder heads in. Still firmly pressing through the heels. Holding for three. For two, for one, if you've interlaced the hands, unroll the shoulder heads, lowering down, one breath cycle. Last one, inhale, rising up. Option to stay with the hands planted or interlacing the palms underneath the back. Really driving through the heels, pulling the hands away from the upper back and tailbone. Holding for three more. Two. Last one. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, lowering down. Trying to stay in stillness and let every sensation in the body disappear on its own. Hugging the knees 
into the chest one last time. And then coming through happy baby. Arms find the inner edges of the knees, grabbing onto the ankles, outer edges of the feet or big toes with your peace fingers. Trying to press the low back into the floor. Gaze is soft or eyes are closed. And then slowly releasing one leg at a time down to the mat. Arms come open into a T. Let your palms face up. Let your toes roll open to either edge of the mat. Let your body sink into the mat. Drown out any outside noises. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Taking this last minute or two just for you. Starting to bring a little bit of movement back into the body by wiggling the fingers and the toes. Maybe opening and closing the eyes a couple times. Rolling out through the wrists and the ankles. And then bringing your legs tightly together, big toes to touch. Reaching your arms back behind your head, interlacing your hands together. We're gonna inhale and stretch as far as you possibly can. Holding at the top. Exhale, sinking into the mat. One more time, inhale, reach as far as you can. And exhaling, let it all go. Slowly coming into a seated position at the top of your mat. Option to roll onto one side and then pressing yourself up into a seat. You can sit cross-legged or sitting on your heels, whatever's most comfortable for you. You're gonna inhale and reach the arms up overhead. Bring the hands to touch. Exhale, hands are gonna come through heart center. Bring the thumbs to rest on your chest. Eyes are closed or gaze is down at the floor. We're going to finish with two breaths together. Inhaling, fill up as much as you can. Holding at the top. Exhale, let it all go. This time, inhaling through the nose. Holding at the top, exhaling through the mouth. Thank you all for practicing with me. Namaste.